President Biden addressing the nation in a primetime speech Thursday, saying the epidemic of gun violence in America needs to stop. After Columbine, after Sandy Hook, after Charleston, after Orlando, after Las Vegas, after Parkland, nothing has been done. This time, that can't be true. This time, we, we must actually do something. How much more carnage are we willing to accept? The president calling on Congress to pass red flag and safe storage laws and strengthen background checks. He also wants to ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines. If not, he says the age to buy them should be raised from 18 to 21. This isn't about taking to anyone's rights. It's about protecting children. It's about protecting our freedom to go to school, to a grocery store, to a church without being shot and killed. The president also calling for more mental health resources across the country. This after multiple mass shootings in recent weeks. The latest in Tulsa, where four people were killed at a medical facility on Wednesday when police say former patient Michael Lewis opened fire, targeting Dr. Preston Phillips. He came in with the intent to kill Dr. Phillips and anyone who got in his way. Authorities say Lewis was armed with a handgun and AR-15 assault-style rifle. That rifle purchased just hours before the shooting. These new details emerging as another mass shooting investigation continues in Buffalo, New York. Peyton Gendron facing a judge Thursday on 10 counts of first degree and second degree murder after 10 black people were shot dead in a supermarket. He was the first person in New York state history to be charged with domestic terrorism motivated by hate. Gendron pleading not guilty. And in Uvalde, Texas, three more children laid to rest Thursday after 19 elementary school students and two teachers were killed last week at Robb Elementary. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.